What is up YouTube? It's Ricky Bobber and welcome to my channel. So I got a little idea for a video from an Instagram story of a friend of mine. It was called 5 Facts 10 Friends. So you're supposed to repost 5 facts about yourself and then tag 10 friends. But I thought the 5 facts thing was pretty interesting and I thought it'd be a good idea to do as a video and also as a motor vlog challenge for anyone else that wants to uh, make a video out of it. So I've got five facts that I think are pretty interesting. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call all of them fun, but um, they're facts nonetheless. I'll tell you what the five are and then I'll tell you the little stories behind them. So the first one that I put is that I almost burnt down two places that I lived in. The second one is I peed in the urinal next to Jerry Lewis before he passed away. The third one is I went swimming in Mick Fleetwood's pool, Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac. The fourth one is that I, I lived in an apartment where someone was murdered. And the fifth one is I've never seen snow falling in my life. The first one was um, me burning, almost burning down two of my places. So I lived in a little cottage not far from here with my stepbrother. And we were actually moving out and there were a couple cars that we were loading up. One of them was my Ford Explorer at the time. And uh, so we were putting stuff everywhere. I put a box on the stove top and I had accidentally leaned and pushed in like the little knob that's right by your waist. And um, I pushed it and turned it somehow in one, in one lean. That was supposed to be my last box for that load and then we're gonna go to the new place and then come back. But I looked in the truck and I'm like, ah, I got room for one more. So I went back and that's when I started to smell the smoke. And luckily caught that. I mean, whew, man, if I, Decided not to go back. That place would have been would have been burnt to the ground. A uh, second time, I actually um, was burnt. My place down um, a little more crazy. Actually, I was living in a house, and you know those like little bathtubs that are like this. You put them on a sink, and you just kind of like pour water over them and stuff. So I put one of those on the countertop. We were having a yard sale, so there's stuff everywhere, and um, we had a glass top stove. Another stove story. <laughs> so. There was a Rachel Ray cookbook on the stove, on the glass top stove, and I had accidentally put the tub like on the counter and the little lip of it hit the knob again, pushed it and turned it, heated the book up, caught fire. So uh, we were outside when it happened and having the yard sale, I was like, I heard a, a smoke detector going off. I'm like, oh, someone's smoke detector's going off. And uh, then I started to smell smoke. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go check inside. So I went back inside and there was smoke everywhere. So I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um, so first thing, my first instinct was to grab like the little hose that's attached to the sink and, and to spray it down. But the water, seriously, I, I, I never used that thing. The water pressure on it was just like, Mew. So I, uh, my next thought was to grab a bunch of big old, we had some big old pots and I filled them up with water and dumped it on there. And that seemed to work, but the fire kept going and going because it was electric stuff. So I went outside and turned the, um, the stove off. Um, my daughter's mom called the uh, fire department, so they came and they brought in the big old fans and everything, and um, it was already out by the time they got there. Oh man, I missed the light. Crazy, right? So this uh, second thing, not so crazy, as I once went pee next to Jerry Lewis. So um, another stepbrother story, I guess you could say, he used to work at a boat rental in Seaport Village. And we'd always hang out at his, uh, at his work after work. And uh, the cool thing about that is like a lot of people would go rent boats and they'd bring like coolers and all kinds of stuff full of beer and wine and all that. And, and then they would have to leave somewhere, like go catch a plane. So they would just give all the employees there all their drinks. Uh, the part about Jerry Lewis is that he had a boat in the same, like the same dock as the boat rental. And he wasn't there all the time. He was just there sometimes, but um, I, we would see him once in a while. He was in a wheelchair at the time and he was also like on an oxygen tank. And I guess he was on his way somewhere once and he was up in the, the, like, the public bathrooms up in Seaport Village. So uh, since we were drinking, on the dock and I had to break my seal. I went up there and he was in there and uh, peed next to him. <laughs> I mean, I've run into other celebrities before and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just funny to me to think that I peed next to Jerry Lewis. Uh, <laughs> so the third thing is I went swimming in uh, Mick Fleetwood's pool. When I was about 11 and 12, I used to live in Maui with my aunt and uncle. And my aunt had a friend that lived next door to Mick Fleetwood's you know, vacation home in Maui. 
and she would house it for him when he was gone. So we used to go swimming in his pool all the time. Uh, well, I wouldn't say all the time, but maybe a couple times. So we, I went in his house, you know, we go and change in there and stuff like that. And um, and I never did get to meet him, but I did swim in his pool. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like not many people can say that, I guess. And, uh, the third thing is so I moved into an apartment and um, I found out two years later after living at the apartment that somebody was murdered at that apartment. And the way I found out was I was actually going to the bathroom and the these maintenance workers were doing something to the to the, the, the complex and they were in the back alley. My bathroom window was in the back alley and I heard one worker saying to the other like oh did you hear about the the lady that was found dead in this bath in the bathtub? He's like no I was like yeah man just like she was stabbed like twenty three times and they found her body in there blah 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 and I was I was just like eyes wide open my eyes are already bugging but they got even bigger um, <laughs> so I looked it up I, I tried to google like I didn't find it under the address but I did find it under like let's say it was like 3900 block of Cherokee or something I forget what the exact address was but yeah sure enough I, have, I found the article um, so I guess she was uh, let's call her a uh, woman of the night so she had a customer and he wanted to settle up with some drugs i guess was the story oh by the way i found this out from one of the neighbors who'd been there while it happened when i, I asked him about it he's oh yeah so he, he gave me the the scoop on that so um so he had they got an argument he stabbed her a bunch of times left her body in the bathtub and tried to like clean up i don't know with like rags or t-shirts or whatever and left and just everything in the dumpster I'm gonna go over here because this is the the first story where I almost burnt the house down with, when I was moving it's right over here I'm gonna point it out to you so out of these two little cottages it's right there the one on the right um, yeah that place almost burnt to the ground and that place is all bet probably about two grand a month right now back when I lived there in 2001 it was only 800 a month Fabulous. So the fifth and final thing is that uh, I have never seen snow falling ever in real life. Like I've seen it in movies, I've seen it in pictures, TV shows, uh, I've seen it on the ground, but I've never actually seen it fall in real life or I've never had it land on me in real life. Born and raised in San Diego, it doesn't snow here. Um, I've been to other places, like let's say Denver is one of the places I went to where it snowed the previous day before I arrived. I was there for like four days and it snowed the day after I left. I would like to check that one off the list. I want to see it snowing someday. And I told this story to a customer one time when I was working at garage doors. And he's like, oh, it was the same way too. And uh, then I, he moved from India to New York. And he's like, he loved it for like the first few days or so until his car got completely buried with snow. And then he went to go unbury his car and realized it wasn't even his car. Oh my god, so that would suck so bad. But yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of downsides to being in the snow. I just want to be in the snow, play in the snow, do something, throw a snowball, write my name, you know, that stuff. All right, that's going to wrap it up. That was it. So, Moto Vlogger friends, I challenge you to a five facts vlog. No time limit. Don't even have to be on your bike. It could be a talking head. Let's just hear five interesting facts about yourself. It's kind of like two truths and a lie. But it's five truths, no lie. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, hit like. That was um, If you found yourself watching all the way through, I appreciate it. And uh, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.